Once again, we are playing Mega Man 3. But it's not on a Nintendo. It's not even on an analog NT Mini. It's actually on a Raspberry Pi. Going through component. Hi everyone, it's Bon here again. And I am testing out the Retro Tink C by Mike Chi. And I must say, it's a job well done. As you can see, scan lines look clear and apparent and uh, it's a pretty interesting product so far. What he did was he used the GPIO on the Raspberry Pi to get RGB signals and with very high quality DAX, or at least from what I can tell, he was able to convert it over to component and it looks breathtaking. It's really sharp, really crisp and well, I guess my friend's falling asleep over here. I don't know what's going on with him, but he's he's playing right now, and uh, how's it feel, Joseph? Feels very good. Surprisingly good for emulation. Yep, and remember, this is a Raspberry Pi 3, so, you know, it's not a powerhouse. It's only a... I think it only pulls about, what, 2.5 amp from the wall, 5 volts, so... It's not, a, it's not a really powerful emulation machine, but the fact that I can get component video out looking crystal clear like this, it's quite nice. Now... The way they set it up in RetroPie is that even though they're using 224p, they're not using 320. And uh, Mike was explaining to me the reason why they did that is because you can get a lot more pixels out of the frame buffer. So it's actually running at a resolution of 1526 by 224. And it looks really, really good in motion. I mean, it looks smooth. Colors are clear and crisp. It's all you can want. Um, he is making a RGB version as well, so it's basically a hat that goes on top of the Raspberry Pi. Show it right there. Pull on it real quick. And it's pretty simple. You just plug it in, you download his custom image with the uh, timings, and you're on your way once you pop on the ROMs. And I, I gotta say, it's straightforward. It looks great. Um, I did notice that the default carbon theme for RetroPie was not, <laughs> it's just not good for 240p and I was reading online and a lot of people have issues with it. So I, I downloaded another theme called um, Mini Luma and it seems much better. It's kind of sparse, it, there's not a much to it, but it's a lot easier on the eyes for the 240p. But this, this looks really good. I mean, uh, it was $65 plus shipping, came out to be like 73 and he got to me really, really quickly within two days. Um, I believe he's based out of California and I'm in Oregon. So it was, you know, really fast. But look at those scan lines. I mean, this is awesome. So for anyone out there who's saying, well, I can get 240p out of the Wii, which is sitting right there. And yeah, the Wii does a nice bang up job on it. But this looks a lot better. Um, how would you say it feels? Does it feel comparable to the Wii? Feels very comparable. Maybe better. Maybe better than Wii. I mean, the retro, the Raspberry Pi has a lot of people working on it. It's a very popular um, board, very well documented. Whereas the Wii is a is a console from 2006. There's not much to it, but hey, at least it has 240p option out there. But I think the Raspberry Pi is more versatile. Plus, it it handles the ROMs better. There's certain games on the Wii that just simply won't run. There's just not enough RAM, whereas the Raspberry Pi is about a gig of RAM. It's not fast, but it is probably better than the Wii, I would imagine. So quad-core CPU and so forth. Hey, this 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 is pretty good. I mean, I was playing the arcade games earlier. They, it looks really nice. He's just using Mega Man because this is a game that obviously he knows. Visitors of my channel will see that you know Mega Man's on it a lot. He likes Mega Man Three. Oh, come on, get him, get him, get him. Nope. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to do a little more videos on the RetroTINK C. I'm going to play around with it a little more. I'm going to set it up. I'd like to get a, a decent front end for this. Uh, I was noticing there's a track mode for the RetroPie, but I haven't really looked at to see, you know, how you do it and if they're even comparable to 240p. I bet a lot of them are 720p based. But, um... I mean, this is playing fun. He's using a DualShock 4. He's about to fight Needleman. I'll show you guys this fight. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's so far, it's a great product. I, I really like it. I'm not a big fan of the Pi. Um, but with this, I mean, it's a little emulation beast. It has HDMI and 
now with this component out, I can use it with this TV, and it looks it looks great. And um, I don't know if he's gonna make this one. Let's see. Nope, scrubbing out. Anyway, guys, I will send more videos down the line. You guys have a good one.